Today is our last day in Ankara, so we head out to Ankara Castle. Near the castle gate there are plenty of shops selling spices, souvenirs, wool and traditional products. The foundations of the Ankara Castle and Citadel were laid by the Galatians but completed by the Romans. The Byzantines and Seljuks made additional changes, restoration and further additions to the castle or citadel. The area both inside and surrounding the castle is the oldest part of Ankara. If you look out over the castle walls you can see examples of old and unrestored houses in the streets below. Within the castle area much of the traditional architecture has benefited from restoration and as you walk up to the inner castle you will see some of the examples of fine architecture. Along the way there are plenty of places to stop and have a hot drink as well as a number of restaurants. Ankara has always been a city of influence. Its strategic position along the old trade routes dates back to the Assyrians. One of the most important cities of the Ottoman Empire, its location on the Silk Road ensured its prosperity and influence. The citadel or castle is part of the landscape of Ankara. Built on the highest hill in the city, it will have been the central point and seat of governance for the city rulers for hundreds of years. Many of the houses inside the castle walls can be dated back to the 17th century. Once you arrive at the top you will be treated to some stunning views of the city below. The citadel has been featured on several Turkish banknotes. Whilst we were visiting the castle Local musicians Hassan and Ur were playing traditional music in the castle courtyard. It is their music that you hear in the background.
the way out of the castle, we came upon Chunar and Umut, two local lads who sing their songs and hope that visitors will be kind enough to tip them. They sang a song for the village of Tavakla. If you see the musicians in the courtyard or the boys just outside the central courtyard area, please stop and say hello and leave them with a little something for their trouble. <laughs> abone olabilirsiniz. Instagram hesabı. Ha. Ne ya bak? Arap atı. Neydi sizin? Çınar Umut. Sizin? Umut Çınar. Tamam, benden oldun. Bu şarkı da var da köyüne gelsin. Uykular. Haram oldu geçim bay. The Erimtan Archaeology and Arts Museum is located across the road from the main entrance of the castle. Our next stop is the Rahmi M. Koch Museum, which is dedicated to industrial technology. Situated by the castle entrance, this museum is not as big as the one in Istanbul, but you can easily spend a couple of hours here. There is also a cafe on site. With collectors' items from all over the world, this museum has been expertly pieced together by the Koch Foundation, just as their other museums have in Istanbul and Ayvalık. The building is leased from the Ankara Municipality and was restored by the Koch Foundation before being opened in 2005.
Ulus is the old centre of Ankara, a fascinating Aladdin's cave of traditional shops from around the Chukrit Jalariokusha, known as Weaver's Road, and Bakajalar Charshasa, the coppersmith bazaar, with its copper wares. Unfortunately, the bazaar was closed when we visited, but one or two shops were open. Ulus is the place to buy your souvenirs, carpets, embroidery, jewellery, leather goods and antiques. Everything can be found here. We have barely scratched the surface of the city of Ankara during the course of these four videos. Like any large city, there is so much more to see and do. With over 50 museums, we have just seen some of the most well known, but there are others to see. Within a short distance of Ankara, visitors can head out to Lake Morgan, which used to be called Gölbasha Lake, or Elmadar, the Apple Mountain. A little further afield and within an easy day trip, there is much more to see and do. It is our intention to come back and visit the city again in the not too distant future. This trip was pretty rushed and not much time to visit friends or relatives who live in the city. And now we move on to the Museum of Anatolian Civilizations. If you only have time to visit one museum in Ankara, then this would be the one. A world-class museum housed in refurbished Ottoman buildings, one of which has a 600-year-old caravanserai history and the other an old bazaar. The grandeur and splendour of the riches of Anatolia's best can be found in this museum. From the Hittites through to the Ottomans, history unfolds in these halls, with artefacts dating back 7,500 years. The Hittite artefacts are particularly impressive, and the buildings in which the collections are housed are the perfect environment for such a splendid museum. The museum was recently renovated and completed in 2014. We take a walk to Sohia Square to visit the Hatti Monument, which used to be the symbol of the Ankara Metropolitan Municipality. The Hatti Sun Disk was adopted by the Hittites and is a famous landmark in Ankara. The Hatti Monument is an oversized replica of a bronze solar disk. And now it's time to catch the metro and head back home. We watch the green parrots in the park before taking a taxi to the Ashti, Ankara Shehir Lerarasa Autobus Terminal, or Autogar, or bus station, before finally catching our flight back home. 
Well, that's it from Ankara. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up and subscribe. Hope to see you again soon.